Let's talk about the butterfly effect. This concept was created long ago in which a small change in one state of a deterministic nonlinear system can result in large differences in a later state. What? Sounds a bit complicated, but let me explain the simplistics of this concept. Imagine that one day you walk to a lake and instead of usually skipping a stone to the north, you choose to skip the stone to the south. With this action, a bunch of catastrophic events transpire after. The earth begins to shake, Africa floods, your girl leaves you for Jimmy down the street even though we all saw that coming. The point I'm trying to make is that because you chose to skip a stone in a different direction, a huge rippling effect took place after based on this one tiny decision that you made. Now that you have an idea on how this concept works, let's see how the butterfly effect took place in the YouTube space and changed Nico's life forever. Real quick, I'd like to thank Patrick CC for the inspiration to make this video. If you're watching this, thank you. Let's get into it. Haha, uh -huh. my ex is hotter than my new one. And she hasn't been properly mm -mm in a long time. <laughs> so wake up! Wake up! Shut the f up! Shut up! From YouTube to TikTok to Instagram, no matter the social media, you've probably seen Sneeko and heard a hot take or two from him. While Sneeko has been growing significantly, this isn't necessarily how he's always behaved. Sneeko at one point used to be a content creator that made content that was introspective and thought-provoking to the viewer that typically offered a perspective that one can't help but recognize to see the truth behind. He was composed, relaxed, and collected as an individual back then. He made plenty of videos that just made you think and explore yourself. This one's my personal favorite. One could tell that Sneeko saw the world for what it truly was at such a young age and people found that level of awareness spectacular but scary at the same time, hence why his character was really perplexing. How can a teenage kid figure out such deep subject matter when he hasn't even gotten a high school diploma yet? Say what you will about Sneeko, but you cannot deny the brilliance that he put into his videos. Every upload felt like Christmas with top tier editing and something new to learn. Over time, he switched his content from introspective to getting perspectives from others through the one minute podcast. People love this evolved version of Sneeko, including myself. This content was interesting and gave viewers an idea about individuality and how so many people come from different walks of life. Sneeko was beginning to mature and so was his content, and people loved the fact that his content was maturing in a positive manner. Until... Yeah, I'm a girl and I don't shave my armpits! Preach this bullshit idea about tolerance, love, and acceptance will also say DIE! If you disagree with me, they laugh at us. Ha ha! Give me your money. Grow the f up. Who the f Something in Sneeko completely snapped. It's as if his polar opposite came out of his body. He went from being calm and composed to angry and sporadic. This version of Sneeko was completely different from the Sneeko we once knew and loved. At first, people didn't enjoy this change in Sneeko's attitude, including myself, but over time, I got used to it as well as others because this began to launch Sneeko's channel into the atmosphere. But as I mentioned previously, he wasn't always this way. He was always a collected individual. So what made him have this drastic change? I believe everything about Sneeko changed on January 16th, 2022. It was a normal day like every other day, except Sneeko posted a video titled How to View Woman. This video basically offered many perspectives on how to approach a woman and win her over through multiple strategies just to reach the conclusion that women don't necessarily know what they want. This video seemed to be about Sneeko describing a spectrum of men from incels to chads. Everyone seemed to get the message and what Sneeko was trying to portray in the audience except for one streamer, Hassan. Hassan is a left-wing political streamer and when I first stumbled upon his channel, I thought he'd be an analytical specialist that could break down and rationalize thought, but boy, I was wrong on that assessment. If I'll be honest, he doesn't watch content thoroughly to understand the claims that are being made. He sometimes watches videos without finishing just to make a conclusion and write everything else off and he replicated that behavior when watching Sneeko's video. He is an incel, by the way, but like he went so far off the deep end of inceldom that like he kind of recovered and started like recognizing how much of an incel he was only to get more incel like again. Hassan clearly missed the point Sneeko was trying to convey in the video and when Sneeko saw Hassan's reaction, he wasn't too happy with what he saw. Sneeko felt that his ideas weren't properly represented and this is where everything began to change. Sneeko was mad and rightfully so, but after this event, Sneeko's life completely flipped. Soon after, he and his girl broke up and I think this was Sneeko's tipping point. 
Although they got back together some time later, Sneagol began to go on these crazy rants about everything related to feminism and the manosphere and people began to see a change in him that no one expected to see. Sneagol would go crazy in his streams and behave in a manner that did not reflect his videos in the slightest. This began to intensify comments such as, I miss the old Sneeko or Sneeko is so toxic and I understood where they were coming from. Sneeko was going off the deep end, but it worked. Sneeko was going crazy, but so was his channel. I haven't seen growth like that since Leafy, Jake Paul, Rice Gum, that era of YouTube, and the fact that Sneeko was replicating those numbers in 2022 was just simply something to admire. This new style of content and attitude gave Sneeko the recognition and growth Sneeko's been striving for since its early days. Did Sneeko foresee his growth in this scenario? Probably not. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Psych! Well, we found out. On October 3rd, 2022, Sneeko was banned officially off of the platform. Not only was his second channel banned where he was wiling out on, but his main channel as well. It's interesting because his main channel had zero strikes and never broke the terms of service, but apparently YouTube had enough of him and wanted to ban him altogether. How do I feel about this ban? Although Sneeko was completely changed from the character I once knew him as, I always thought he was an interesting character that someone at one point could relate to. His videos on his main channel were original and real to the point I wanted to create the same type of videos he made. Did I think he deserved to be banned? I don't know. It's not up to me to decide. However, I want to tie everything back together. As I said earlier, the butterfly effect is a small event that causes chaotic circumstances to follow up and I think that took place here. Sneeko makes a typical video, Hassan misrepresents it, and Sneeko's anger begins to grow. Then his girlfriend temporarily leaves him and he begins to enter the red pill rage. Sneeko begins to live stream and unleash that rage built up inside and begins to grow monstrously on YouTube, garnering him hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But to think this insane series of events all started just because Sneeko made one video on January 16th would lead us here. I wonder though, what if Sneeko never made that video? Where would he be today? Would Hassan and Sneeko beefed, pushing him towards the red pill? Would he have momentarily split from his girlfriend? Would he have launched himself into the manosphere the way he did? Or would Sneeko be the same? More importantly, would he still be on YouTube today? Let me know your thoughts though. Am I reaching here? I believe that my findings are somewhat accurate, but hey, that's just me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like on the video. My name is King Theodore, and I don't usually make video essays like these. I talk about anime, manga, cartoons, and stories on occasions, and if that interests you and you find me entertaining, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'll be waiting for you to join the kings on this side of the internet. With all that being said, have a wonderful day, keep it 100, and I'm out. Peace.